the uh, penalties for the violation of the um, rule where lowering your head to initiate and make contact with your helmet against an opponent, three flags in the Hall of Fame game that left a, a lot of folks hand-wringing over the demise of football as we know it. Troy, what do you say to those who say that this rule is going to ruin football? I would say pause for a second because we said the same conversation took place when we implemented the defenseless player rule. And the purpose of the why is we want to remove the helmet from the, the, the head, take the head out of the game. We want to protect players from unnecessary risk. And through this process, talking to our coaches, our players, even fans, our Hall of Famers, our owners, we, and then looking at the data, the science, the research, all of the engineering, input from everybody, the video says that we have to alter this game and the helmet should never be used as a weapon. That's, that's the origin of how we got here. Now, the, the actual rule itself, we had two, actually, two correct calls, Walt, one in the first quarter, one in the third, on the use of the helmet. We're still, as we make our training camp, training camp visits, there's still a little bit of clarification that we need to just work out from a crew to crew. But there were two correct calls during the game. We had one incorrect call where there was a blend of the defenseless player and the use of the helmet rule. So which one was that? Was that the second flag or the third flag? The one with Jackson coming that, across the middle looked. That was looked, the, that was the fourth one. That was in the four, oh, It was the fourth. It was in the fourth quarter. Uh, there was a UNR. There was an unnecessary roughness on a defenseless player call. The contact to the head or neck area. The referee announced unnecessary roughness, not not use of helmet. So the Bennett Jackson hit in the fourth quarter, you think, should not have been a foul. So that's what comes down to it, because that's the one where it did look like his helmet yeah. was in front of the play. Troy, it did not look like he was leading with his helmet. It looked like he. He led with a shoulder, and after the game, he said that one of the officials told him it's preseason, we have to throw the flag. And it's and we're going to see Flagstone because this is how players and coaches adjust. We adjust based off of the way the, fa the fouls are being called. Mm -hmm. In that fourth quarter, in that particular play, could there could be some contact to that head, neck, or that, that, that chin area. We, in preseason, we want them to – we don't want to – I guess it's over officiate, but we want to be consistent. We want to be consistent, and we're still working in this particular area, Rich. Mm -hmm. We've come a long way with our educational videos. Uh, there's some language that we need to, to just clean up as we go into, frankly, week one of preseason. That's what preseason is for, for the officials as well, to get it right, to make sure that every player understands. And we've seen it just in the first preseason game. Just that one, just that one game, we saw players adjusting, making an effort to keep that head out of the game. Okay, so um, and and what came out of Philadelphia as well that uh, uh, officials that came to explain the rule were not on the same page. Uh, I know you addressed that locally in a radio station in Philadelphia. I'm wondering if you could address that here real quick, since that's something we talked yeah, about so on this show. Yeah, so what we saw, what we saw, and if you look at, you listen to Doug Peterson, Coach Peterson's comments. And he just walked the one the, the the reporters that were asking the question walked him through the process and actually was on record of saying this is in the best interest of the game. Now what happened in the in the players' room as the officials were walking through it, there was a he didn't draw the line of defenseless player and the use of the helmet. And he blended the two without saying, Okay, we're gonna go from use of helmet we're now going to talk about the defenseless player. And he blended the two, which could create doubt, cloudiness, gray. We got to remove all of the gray. And you heard the players express that. So it was, it, was, it was an interpretation. It was a blending of two different rules. And that's what we have to be clear on as we go through. And we had some webinars last week. So after that came out, got the officials back on the phone last Wednesday and Thursday. And we talked about what actually took place in Philly for clarification purposes as they continue their club visits and work through preseason. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.